Today on Storytime, we are reading Aesop's Fables: The Ant and the Grasshopper. A bunch of chicken stella. The Ant and the Grasshopper. It was a lovely summer's day, and the sun was shining. The grass was green, the corn was tall in the meadow, and the air hummed with the sound of bees. I couldn't wish for a better life," said the grasshopper, swinging his long body on a hanging leaf. He had just eaten a big breakfast and was as happy as could be. He was so content that he rubbed his wings against his big back legs to make a loud chirping sound. "I wish I could do that," called a small voice. The grasshopper looked around. On a nearby blade of grass was a tiny ant. "Do what?" Asked the grasshopper, "Make that chirping sound," replied the ant. "Ants don't make sounds." So, what do you do when you're happy? Asked the grasshopper. "I don't need to do anything," said the ant. "Just being busy makes me happy." "Busy doing what exactly?" the grasshopper asked, puzzled. The ant was poking around here and there in the tall corn, searching for seeds. She couldn't even stay still for five seconds. Busy making a home, busy looking after my children, busy collecting food for the winter. She answered, "I'm always busy collecting food for the winter!" exclaimed the grasshopper. "That's ages away. If we don't collect the food now, then we will be really hungry when winter eventually does come," said the ant. Poor ant," said the grasshopper. "If you spend all summer working, you'll have no time to enjoy yourself. You should be more relaxed, like me." He stretched out in the sun, swinging gently on his leaf hammock. "I must continue on," grasshopper said. The ant, "Busy, busy, busy." It was nice talking to you. The grasshopper watched as the ant picked up a grain of corn and carried it away. It was bigger than she was. I'm glad I'm not an ant," he thought. Summer passed and fall came. It was a bit colder and a bit wetter, but there was still enough food around if you knew where to look. Then winter suddenly arrived, and winter was different. It was very cold. Ponds and rivers froze over. The ground was hard like iron. The plants the grasshopper liked to eat stopped growing. There was no food to be found anywhere. Now the grasshopper didn't feel at all happy. He no longer swung on his leafy hammock. He no longer rubbed his wings against his legs. He was too hungry and cold to play or do anything but cuddle up with a leaf for a blanket. One day, the grasshopper saw the ant scurrying by. "Hello, ant," said the grasshopper. "Remember me?" "Of course," said the ant. "You're the happiest creature in the world." She looked closely at the grasshopper. "You don't look very happy today," she added. "I'm not," said the grasshopper. "I'm miserable." "Why is that?" asked the ant. Because I'm hungry," answered the grasshopper. "I'm cold and I'm weak. I can't jump any more or chirp. How about you?" "Well, I'm not hungry," said the ant, "or weak. I have lots of delicious food stored up to eat." The grasshopper hung his head. "I was lazy last summer," he said. "I don't have any food left." "I'm sorry to hear that," said the ant. The grasshopper looked at the ant with hungry eyes. I can see that you are a very kind creature, Aunt," he said humbly. "Please, will you help me just this once?" "Of course I will," said the kind Aunt. "As long as you promise that next summer you will change your ways." So all that winter, the Aunt shared her food with the grasshopper, and when spring returned, he prepared to collect his own food. The grasshopper kept his promise to work hard, and from then on, he was happy all year round. And the moral of the story is: never put off until tomorrow what you can do today. The end. If you had fun reading with us today, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell. See you next time on Adventures with Chase and Stella. Stella!